hi all i welcome you to this channel and if you are the first time here make sure you subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button in order to stay updated about the most trending technologies in this video we are discussing about machine learning and data science so in machine learning unsupervised learning so unsupervised learning can be thought of as self learning where the algorithm can find previously unknown patterns in data sets that do not have any sort of labels and it helps in modeling probability density functions finding anomalies in the data and much more so to give you a simple example think of a student who has textbooks and all the required material to study but has a no teacher to guide so ultimately the student will have to learn by himself or herself to pass the exams so this sort of self learning is what we have scaled into unsupervised learning for machines so importance of unsupervised learning it works on data sets that are unlabeled and find patterns that would previously not be known to us and the patterns obtained are helpful if we need to categorize the elements or find an association between them and they can also help detect anomalies and defects in the data which can be taken care of by us so types of unsupervised learning clustering and association so clustering clustering is the type of unsupervised learning where you find patterns in the data that you are working on and it may be the shape size color etc which can be used to group data items or create clusters so some popular algorithms in clustering are first is hierarchical clustering so this algorithm builds clusters based on the similarity between different data points in the data set and it goes over the various features of the data points and looks for the similarity between them and if the data points are found to be similar they are grouped together and this continues until the data set has been grouped which creates a hierarchy for each of these clusters then k means clustering so this algorithm works step by step where the main goal is to achieve clusters that have labels to identify them so the algorithm creates clusters of different data points which are homogeneous as possible by calculating the centroid of the cluster and making sure that the distance between this centroid and the new data point is as little as possible so the smallest distance between the data point and the centroid determines which cluster it belongs to while making sure the clusters do not interlay with each other and the centroid acts like the heart of the cluster and this ultimately gives us the cluster which can be labeled as needed then knn clustering so this is probably the simplest of the machine learning algorithms as the algorithm does not really learn but rather classifies the new data point based on the data sets that have been stored by it so this algorithm is also called a lazy learner because it learns only when the algorithm is given a new data point and it works well with smaller data sets as huge data sets take time to learn so this was a brief discussion on machine learning in data science and if you are the first time here subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button in order to stay updated about the most trending technologies thank you for watching this video bye for now